Welcome to our lecture online. Based upon what we've learned in the previous couple of videos, we should be able to solve these simple inequalities. And of course, we're going to see some more complex inequalities later, but let's solve these simple linear inequalities. So when we are told to find all the values for x that are smaller than 3, we can best do that using a number line. So we draw a number line, we draw some points on the number line, like so. Since we know that we're not including the number 3, we draw a little circle around it, we don't fill it in, and then we point to the left, indicating that all the numbers to the left of, negative, uh, of positive 3 are the solution for that first inequality. So we're looking for all x's that are smaller than 3, not including 3. But if we're going to include 3, then we do the same thing. We draw a number line, we indicate the points, and of course, we typically pick some points that are near the value of the limit. In this case, we're going to include the number 3, so we make a solid, a solid circle. And then we indicate everything to the left of the positive 3 satisfies that inequality, including the endpoint 3. We do the same for x is greater than 5. We draw a number line. We draw some points. We're not including the end point, number 5, so we draw a hollow circle and then we point to the right because it's everything bigger than 5 and that would be the solution to our first inequality. But if we're going to include the number 5, we can do this again. But in this case, we're going to have a solid circle on the number 5 and then pointing to the right to indicate all numbers greater than 5 but including 5, so we make that a point by making the number 5 dot solid. And now we have the possibility that we're looking for all, all x values or all values for x that are greater than negative 2 and smaller than 4 but not including the endpoints. On the second example, we include the left endpoint. On the third example, we include both endpoints. So that's what this would look like. Let's draw three number lines and five. Notice that in the first example, we do not include the endpoint, so we draw a little circle at, num at negative 2 and a little circle at positive 4, and therefore all the numbers in between. So this is the range of numbers that are greater than negative 2, smaller than 4, but not including the endpoints indicated by the hollow circles. But if the left point, negative 2, is included, we do the same thing. And 5. So this is still a hollow circle because it does not include the number 4, but this is a solid circle because we include the number negative 2 and all the numbers in between, like so. And finally, if both endpoints are included, and notice we're going to include the endpoint negative 2, so we draw a solid circle, we're going to include the right endpoint 4 and everything in between. And that would be the solution for a third inequality over here. So you can see that is how it's done when the equations or the inequalities are relatively simple. Of course, now we're ready to try something more, more um, challenging. So let's go to the next video and show you how to do those.